Hello everyone, Shaky Jake here. Welcome to this video. We're going to be talking about the PlayStation Showcase that was shown off last week and the main games that really stood out to me and is part of the reason I've actually gone out and got my PS5. So, um, yeah, we'll be talking about that in the video today. But before we do, just want to say, if you like the video, please drop a like. It's free, it's great, and it'd be good to see if you like my content. Let's get on with the video. So when I got home, I sat down, I got ready, I got the PS showcase up on YouTube when we began watching the show. Now, when the show started, the trailer that they began the whole showcase with was amazing. The live action one was really cool. The soundtrack was great. The idea of playing chess in amongst the city was brilliant. Um, and there's little nods to all the different games and the franchises that you have. And it was really, really good to see and it was really, really cool. And it stood out to me personally when I watched it and thought, actually, this is a pretty badass one to start the showcase. So yeah, that was a good start to the show. And then they eventually brought up the trailers for the games. Now, there was a lot of trailers shown in the 42 minutes of the show. Um, but from all those that really stood out, I like the look of Forspoken, which is going to be coming out, I think, possibly either next year or the year after. Not really much was shown on release dates. But the game itself looks really cool. The idea of a young woman being taken from our world and brought into a fantasy world and suddenly having all these magical powers where she's got to fight some evil badass witch was pretty cool. And they showed the gameplay off and... The gameplay was quite fluid. The movement of the character itself actually parkour between the ruins and castle bits and just moving in the landscape in general was really, really good to see. It was very smooth, it was very fluid, it was very clean and clear. Uh, and when they showed the combat and the magic that she's going to use, the effects were insane. Like, she's been using water, electric, she's fighting dragons, she's fighting flying birds, fighting everything they can in this fantasy world, all because of this little cuff that's around her arm that could talk to her. Now, the cuff sounds like Paul Bettany. I'm not sure if it's going to be. I haven't actually looked to see who the actor is. But, to be honest, it sounded spot on, a bit like Jarvis did for the Iron Man suit. So, yeah, I'm curious to see how that's going to be when it comes out. And I'm watching my eye on that one. Now, the show really kicked off for me towards the end. Because that's when they started showing off the real heavy hitters for the franchises. And one that surprised me was the Wolverine announcement by Asomniac Games. Now, when that was shown, and it's just a, it's just a trailer. It wasn't gameplay, obviously. The idea of a Wolverine game is insane. Like, I played the Wolverine Origins game from the past. Um, there was also talk about the other Wolverine game, which was on PS2. But Origins itself was a brutal hack and slash adventure game, and I really enjoyed it. It wasn't, it wasn't like 10 out of 10. It had its bugs and it's had issues, but I really like the idea of it, of just going in with Wolverine and slashing people up. So that's pretty cool. Um, if Insomniac's going to go in that direction as well as, as the game itself. It's going to be an interesting game to play, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of fans out there who are going to basically claw up and go for it. Um, that was also part of one of the announcements from Marvel. And then they showed off Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2, oh my god, they're bringing in Venom, which if you haven't played the first Spider-Man on PS4, and a bit of Mars Morales, um, there's a little bit of a teaser to why there's now Venom in the sequel. And I also think Craven's going to be in there too. You hear a man talking about how he wants to meet Equal, someone who meets his match. Um, that's not Venom. We can tell that's not Venom, because Venom sounds completely different. I'm pretty sure Craven the Hunter is going to show up in the game as well as another bad guy to fight, but the main one's going to be Venom. I'm also curious to see if co-op will be an option as well, because then we have, obviously, Peter Parker and Mars Morales in the same game universe. Um, the idea of co-op would be brilliant if they could do that. Uh, like, there's a bunch of friends I could play with this on this game. It'd be a good laugh. Imagine comboing up together with your abilities and smashing people down to the ground. It's just, it's just, yeah. The potential is that if they go for co-op. We don't know yet. It's early days. The game's going to come out to 2023. But I think co-op would be a good like, direction for this game itself. Like, you could do a co-op campaign. Just imagine swinging through the streets of New York with your friend. You know, teamed up. Going to tackle crime. Fighting bad guys. What's not to like, you know? Now, after those were shown, the show was finishing up with God of War Ragnarok. That was the game I was hoping to see gameplay footage of, and they delivered. I'm a big fan of the God of War franchise. I played all the games on PlayStation consoles in the past, and I played God of War on PS4. And I've even cosplayed as Kratos because I'm that much of a fan of the franchise and the character. He's such a badass. I know he's grumpy. Uh, and to be fair, I'm a bit like that too. And obviously he's bearded and now bold like I am as well, funnily enough. Um, and yeah, I'm glad they showed gameplay footage. We knew it was coming. We knew something was going to be shown, whether it was just another like update. But yeah, the gameplay trailer looked insane. It was brilliant. They showed off gameplay of the 
fighting, they showed off the characters, they showed off new characters. So we've got Thor, which was obviously teased at the end of the first one, depending on what ending you had. Um, we've got uh, a new guy called Durston. Durlin? What's his name? Durston. But he's in there too. He's going to be obviously another character for us to interact in the world. We've got Angra Boda, which is a big, awesome character to be added to as well. Curious to see what her role is going to be though, when she shows up. Freya is returning as well. So it's going to be Freya and Thor as the main bad guys of the series in, the, in this game. And we've got the arrival of Tyr, the Norse God of War. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how him and Kratos get on. Because obviously, Kratos being the God of War from Greece. And Tyr being the God of War of the Norse mythology. I am curious to see how they go. And Tyr towers over Kratos, which is insane. Because Kratos is about 6 foot 2. And Tyr comes out about 8 foot. If I'm right from the stats I saw on Twitter. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm happy to hear that in comments. Um, and don't at me. <laughs> but yeah, they showed off beasties. They showed off gameplay of fighting. They showed off gameplay of the world you're going to explore. Amir's obviously back, which is awesome because I love the banter between the three characters as you're traveling. Atreus has obviously grown up. And it's nice they've kept Sunny as well. Like, keep it consistent with the actors that they're going to use for the mocap and obviously the vocal capture and stuff like that. But yeah, it's brilliant. And I, I can't wait. That's probably the main game that I'm looking forward to playing on PS5 and that's why I've secured one so early on because I don't want to be looking for a PS5 desperately when the game actually launches which hopefully should be in 2022 but anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video it's been nice to discuss the PS showcase briefly and just touching the games that really stood out to me there's a load of other titles coming too and I'm curious to see how they go as well but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video if you do please leave a like and if you want to see more content in the future as I make it Hit that subscribe button. And you can even hit the little bell for a ding when new videos pop up on the app. Have a lovely day. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you again soon. Bye.